This video is going to be covering the Boolean tool, specifically the shatter operation in Houdini. Now, most of us are probably familiar with the regular Boolean functions like union, subtract, and intersect, but in Houdini, we have this shatter operation that allows us to quickly and easily add detail to our geometry when we're modeling. So in this hard surface geometry example, we have this shape that cuts into the surface here and also this power button, as well as this design shape that runs across the midsection of this, this mesh here. And all of those details were done by using the shatter operation of the Boolean tool. And we're going to see how we can do that. So before we begin, I just want to recommend that you uh, set your desktop to modeling and choose the poly modeling option for radio menus so that when you hit the C key, you get a bunch of modeling tools at your fingertip. And if there's other tools that you use more often, then you can certainly create your own custom radio menu and populate it with the tools that you are more commonly using. That said, I'm going to hit the control B key now to continue and bring back my network editor window. I'm going to turn off visibility on this guy and hold the R key and select these two to turn on visibility on them. And if I hit the W key, I can see that this bottom cut geometry is actually that shape that was cutting into the geometry that we saw earlier. And if I double click to go inside, it's just a curve that I did a bunch of operations on and I turned it into a closed polygon geometry that I appended with a null, this out underscore bottom cut so that I can reference to it when I'm working in the main body geometry stop later. So I'm going to hit the U key to jump back out and go into the main body. And here's my network for this main body surface here. This is basically my construction history, if you will. And so let's do the Boolean operation to uh, have this geometry cut into the surface. And we can reference it by using the object merge SOP. So hit tab key and type object, select and put it down, and then just going to name it. And I'm going to hit tab and type Boolean and put down my Boolean. Now, if you're wondering about the shape, I just did a custom shape and colored it earlier. You can do that later on. So now let's grab these two and just drag and drop it into the first input that is going to auto populate the second input. So you don't have to manually click and drag it and hold down the R key and select the Boolean. Now, nothing's happening because we didn't actually reference anything in this object merge. So if we hit the P key, it's pointing to nothing, which is helpful. So. Let's choose that null that we were talking about earlier, that out bottom cut. And you can see automatically that it's updated uh, and it's kind of drawn the, the shape that we want, but that's not on the main geometry. So if we select the Boolean, we don't actually want the intersect operation. We want to get shatter. And now if we look at it more closely, it's almost like we have this curve on surface from that intersection, which are actually the seams that are here but they're not turned on. So let's apply a bevel, which is going to give us that geometry going in look and see what these seams are doing. So I'm going to hit tab and type bevel. Just put down a poly bevel and set the display flag on it. And nothing's happening because first our offset, like our bevel amount is set to zero. So let's put like a very small number. And you can see that Houdini is trying to bevel everything because there's nothing in the group indicating that, you know, Houdini should bevel anything else. And so now when we go back to Boolean, we want to enable the AB seams output, which are those quote curve on surfaces that I was talking about. And I'm going to just call this bottom cut, oops, underscore AB seams. And now for the bevel, I'm going to choose that seam, the, those seams that were generated and now, if I just increase the offset, the bevel amount, I can very easily, nicely add some uh, detail on that without doing a whole lot of work. So I can also go back to the bottom cut and adjust the bevel amount here so that it's a more rounder shape like so. And now if I go back to the main body, it's updated there. And now if I hit the W key to see it shaded, some of you may be disturbed by the, the shading and we can remedy that by hitting tab key and putting down normal and setting the weighing method to face area and I'm going to set my cusp angle to 40. Now I'm going to jump back out with the U key and turn off visibility on bottom cut. And that's how you can quickly and easily add detail to your geometry by using the Boolean shatter operation in Houdini. Thanks for watching.